Recently, as you all are aware, the Federal Reserve has been talking more and more about interest rates and investors and uh, commenta commentators on social media and on cable news are all talking about what the Fed's going to do. Are they going to pause here like they have? Are they going to lower interest rates soon? And one of the things that keeps coming out of the Federal Reserve in their language, in their meetings, in the minutes of their meetings is that interest rates are going to be higher for longer. And I think that terminology or that statement of interest rates higher for longer scares a lot of people because in the back of our mind, we're thinking that probably the Fed sooner rather than later should start lowering interest rates. And while I do think in the very near to intermediate future, they probably will start on a campaign of lowering interest rates, I would agree with some of their statement of interest rates remaining higher for longer. If you think back to the last 15 years, 20 years before this recent rate hike, we had near zero interest rates. And as anyone would ascertain, that's probably not sustainable. And so interest, higher interest rates for longer or interest rates higher for longer, what that basically means to me is some type of more normal or a new normal in the interest rate regime. That is the, the mortgage rates that we had a few years ago of 3%, that's not normal. What's normal over longer periods of time in history is a 5% a mortgage, a 6% mortgage, or even a 7% mortgage. So that doesn't mean when the Fed makes a statement of higher for longer, they're not indicating that they're not going to ever lower rates. They're basically just preparing the market and investors for the reality that our economy may do well enough to be able to keep interest rates at a more healthy level and that we will not likely be returning to a near zero interest rate um, strategy, which is actually a good thing. A healthy economy, a healthy market uh, for investors would be something in between uh, on those interest rates. The other positive, I think, of, of higher for longer or moderate uh, moderation in interest rates versus near zero rates is, Inevitably, our economy always goes through recessions. Many of those recessions are just run-of-the-mill recessions. They're not the, the huge impactful recessions, say like in 08 or 09 or other crises in our country and our economy. Um, but what a little bit higher for longer interest rates could potentially do for us is when we face a recession, the Fed now has some wiggle room to be able to lower rates to help stimulate the economy, as opposed to the near zero interest rates where we had no opportunity, no wiggle room, no gas left in the pedal to be able to stimulate the economy and grow. 